Hey, this is Mike from JPEG to Raw. And if you watched a couple of shows ago, I mentioned that I was going to order the Ultimate Lens Cap just to see how good it was. Not that I had high expectations and not that I really had a need to replace my lens cap, but I wanted to try it out. So I've got it in. I've got the lens cap in. It came in this nice little container, and we're going to do a quick little overview. I'm not a full review. That's not what I do, but uh, do a quick little overview and then give you some of my initial thoughts. So here we go. So I got here a few lenses, a few of my lenses. I got the 50 millimeter. I got an 85 millimeter. I've got my Tokina 12 to 24 millimeter. And I have probably the lens I use the most, my um, Nikon 70 to 200. Before we get to that, here is the case. It comes in this little um, plastic container. And then right on top, you have some cards. They're numbered at the bottom. You probably can't see that because it's so dark. But they're um, numbered at the bottom. Hello. And then it goes through and gives you a few little instructions. Um, one of them, don't use your fingernail. Also tells you where to go to review it and where to leave some feedback and that kind of stuff. All right, enough of that. Then you got the actual lens cap. You just take it out. And there it is. So they say it might be a little stiff at first. You might have to stretch it. Whatever. You know, I guess it loosens. It's just a rubber thing. So we're going to try the 50 first. And don't have to do anything. It just fits right on top of that. It doesn't slide. It slides off okay. I mean, it's not. I don't think it'll come loose if it's in your bag. You put another one. I guess if you do the back lens cap and put it over it, it might combine to make it a little stiffer on there. Um, but again, you know, I can take that lens cap off pretty fast. So putting this one on on this lens was a one hand thing. Um, it might add a little bit of protection, but I'm not going to not gonna be throwing around my lens because I have this thing on it now. Anyway, that's the 50. It's fine. Um, and I left the lens cap on that one. Let's go ahead and take the lens cap off of the 85. And we'll this one, I'm going to have to use the two hands. So I'm going to stretch it, starting on one side, go to the other side. And it actually fits. It's pretty good. Um, I would say it adds a little more protection than my the regular lens cap. And I could have left the lens cap on there. Comes off like, you know, like that. But again, that's super simple. I know people have said that their caps have come off when it's in their bag. I guess if you, know, you, if you leave it where it's just partially on, yep. I can't remember the last time a cap came off when I put the cap on uh, correctly, but it can happen. So on the 85, it is going to take me two hands to stick that thing on there versus the one there. That on this 85, it actually looks really good and looks really snug. And that rubber would probably add a little bit of protection. And if this was on my camera, yeah, okay. For the 85, I'm liking it. Now let's go to the a little bit wider. This is the Tokina 12 to 24, and it is a, um, what millimeter is this? I don't know. Doesn't say in the lens cap. 77 maybe? 77? All right. I'm going to take a little more to stretch it. In two hands versus the one hands with the regular. It does look cool when you have it on there. It looks like it would protect it quite well. You can take it off with one hand, but I can put this on and off with one hand. Again. All right, now for the bigger lens. This is the Sigma, the Nikon. Nikon 7200. 2.8. I'll take the cap off. And we're going to fit this one on there. If it's a little awkward, I probably could take some time to put it on there better. And, you know, it does 
It probably does, again, provide a little more protection. I'm not going to be tossing this thing in sand or in the lake um, like they show on their video. But taking it off is super easy. But one thing I didn't show with, with, this, with either of these lenses, let's take that off, is how I actually use them. And nearly 100% of the time, if I'm going to have this in the bag, it's going to have the uh, hood on it because I'm probably going to use the hood. And what I'm not going to do is store the hood separately in my bag and take up that much extra space. So let's see how it works with the hood in storage mode. And this is the Tokina 12 and 24. A little bit tighter fit. Let's start that over. Get it stretched. Okay, let's try that again. And I'm sure if the company is watching this, they're going to tell me I did it wrong. But if I got to go through a lot of instructions on how to put a lens cap on, I'm going to choose another way. Okay, with the lens cap on, there's no way I'd freaking use that. Because, again, that's so much easier. Let's try it with this one. Again, unlike what they show in the video, I always have my lens for the twelve for the seventy to two hundred. I always use a lens hood. I don't know if I've ever not used a lens hood, and it's always going to be like this when I put it in the camera bag. All right. Huh? For whatever reason, that was a little bit easier. So it does fit. It is barely on right there. I could take some more time to do that. It does fit on there. Maybe if I use this more, it would stretch and be a little bit easier to put on. I'm not sure why it was harder to put on than, than this one. Maybe they're both 70. They're both 77 millimeter, actually. So they're both, they're both um, the same size. I don't know why this one is easier. Maybe it was a beginner look. But, uh, no, there's no way I would use it on there. I'm just going to do that. Hmm. All right, so final thing is, would I use this for my lens cap? Maybe on, maybe on the 85. It fit really good there. Am I going to be buying more of these? Probably not. I think I, think, I didn't check the website, so I could be wrong here. But um, if there's maybe a little bit bigger size, it would fit this kind of lens with, with a hood. A 70 to 200 with a, you know, if it had something that would fit with a hood better, I might, I might do that. But again, for me, the lens cap is just one hand on, one hand off. I'm not banging my cameras around that much that I need a lot of um, rubberized protection at the front of it. Um, my thoughts. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Love to hear if anybody has bought one of these. They're only about 25 bucks, but 25 bucks for this little thing. It's, it's, I'm not going to be buying a bunch of those. And I've seen commercials where they throw these away, throw your lens caps away when they get those. Don't do that. Even if you decide that you're going to use this on all of your lenses, the front and the back, don't throw your lens caps away, the front or the back, because if you ever go to sell these guys... The next person will probably want to have these. They're not going to want to get just these. They may not like using that. They're going to want those. So if you don't ever plan on selling your lenses, maybe that's not an issue for you. Um, but even if you're going to give it away, to, you know, they may want those lens caps. Just put them, store them away. Don't throw them away. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. If you're going to get one of these, if I put them on wrong, again, if I'm putting them on wrong and I need instructions, on how to do it right and maybe even a training video I'm not going to use it I'm just going to use that cap so that's my thoughts I'm I don't think I wasted my $25 but I'm not buying anymore all right until next time keep it raw good night